A short history of dermatology in Canada. Canada is a vast, diverse region. In comparison, the stretch from the Atlantic Ocean to the Baltic Sea in Europe is 4,522 kilometers. And in the United States, it's 4,800 kilometers coast to coast. As for Canada, we're 7,600 kilometers coast to coast, almost twice the span of Europe and the United States. Canada has a relatively small population considering our landmass. Let's look at the UK. Their population is roughly 65 million. And the United States has a population of 320 million. In Canada, our population is 35 million, much less than the UK and the United States. Canada is also younger compared to other countries. The United Kingdom is 308 years old. The United States is 239 years old. However, it's only been 148 years since Canada's Confederation. Dermatology in Canada is over 90 years old, but the origins of Canadian dermatology are much older and began with the treatment of syphilis in the 1700s. In 1925, doctors Gordon Campbell, Omar Wilson, Emerson Trow, and William Jaffray conceptualized the formation of a Canadian interurban dermatological society over a bottle of Old Par. In 1926, the four meet again with colleagues on May 26th in London, Ontario to formally establish the society. For over 90 years, Canadian dermatologists have been working to create a strong society, investing in research, treating patients, and advancing dermatology in Canada and the world. In 1926, Dr. Barney Usher is the first Canadian dermatologist to have his name attached to a disease entity, the Sinear Usher Syndrome. In 1929, the Clouston Syndrome is named after Dr. Howard Ray Clouston of Huntingdon, Quebec, following a published research paper on ectodermal defects in his community. In 1935, Dr. Mary Eliza Schofield is the first woman to practice dermatology in Canada. In 1937, the Salzberger Garb disease, also known as the Oid Oid disease, is singled out by Canadian Dr. William Garb and his American colleague. In 1963, Dr. William Pace revolutionizes the treatment of acne with benzoyl peroxide. In 1975, Canadian Dr. Arthur Burt and two of his colleagues identify fibrofolliculoma, which comes to be known as the burt hogg dube syndrome. In 1987, Dr. Jean and Alastair Carruthers discover the cosmetic properties of botulinum toxin. In 2009, Dr. Dana Hansen is the first Canadian to be elected president of the World Medical Association. And in 2011, doctors Jerry Shapiro and Harvey Louis win the bid to bring the World Congress of Dermatology to Canada in 2015.